Hey my dear friends, once again welcome back to the channel. I'm Gaurav here and that's the 28th video of this series. And in today's video we're gonna fix shooting related issues that we are facing in our project. And I'm pretty sure you have already noticed that sometimes our Unity isn't registering mouse inputs and we have to fix it. So let's get started. But before we begin, as I always say, if you are new in the channel, then please check out our previous videos first. Also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon, it's absolutely free. Now let's quickly jump into the project and let it compile. Alright, so first of all, I want to show you the problem which we are facing in our game. Now as you see, I'm trying to shoot projectiles as fast as I can, but it's not working properly and the projectiles aren't being generated that fast. Some of our clicks are going blank and Unity is ignoring some entries, but the question is why? Well, it is happening because of the fixed time step. Now. Let's see what's fixed time step. And to understand this properly, let's open the weapon script and see what's going on there. So, we all know that the update function runs every frame, right? Update function called once per frame and, uh, and whenever we use our code within the update function, then our code works just fine. But since we are using fixed update, uh, so that's why we are facing shooting related issues and we already discussed about fixed update function in the previous videos of this series. So if you remember that the fixed update depends on time, right? And it always loops at a fixed time, right? Simply put, it's a frame rate independent. Now here's where the fixed time step comes into play. Okay, let's quickly jump back into the unity. And then here on the top left corner, click on the edit button and then project settings. And from here, scroll down and click on the time. And here we can see we have fixed time step, which is currently set to 0.02, which is equivalent to 20 milliseconds. So the fixed time step value is responsible for the calling rate of fixed update, means is the time in between two fixed update calls. And actually we can change its values from here or via code if we need it. Now keep in mind that its value shouldn't be too big nor too small, um, well it's better not to mess with it. But for now let's go back to the script and from here I'm gonna make a slight change in the code. As you know right now we are shooting one projectiles per click, like click 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 and shoot shoot shoot. But what I wanna do here is that whenever we press the mouse button and hold it down for a long time then the projectiles will start shooting at a specific time interval. Are you getting deja vu type feeling like we did something similar before? Well yeah, you're right, we already did something similar for our enemy's weapon system and now we are gonna give that same ability to our player. So let's do this and here first of all we need two flow type variables. Um, First one is for the fire rate and second one is to hold the time when we last time fired uh, and I'll name it last time fired. Okay, now down here in the if statement, we'll add one more condition. So the condition is that if the left mouse button is down and the current time is greater than or equal to to the time when we last time fired, then we want to instantiate the projectiles pfap. Okay, if input.getMouse button down and the current time which is time dot time is greater than or equal to last time fired then shoot the projectiles and then after shooting the projectiles we have to reset the last time fired by passing current time in the last time fired oh i almost forgot to add fire rate here on the if statement we will add fire rate plus one divided by fire rate now i'm dividing one by fire rate because one is the time period when the projectiles will be generated so it just says that how many projectiles we have to instantiate in a second. Now save it and let's go back to the unity and let it compile. And here on the player's weapon script we can see we have a fire rate value and we can set it. It could be anything 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 etc. It's up to you. But for me I want to instantiate 2 projectiles in a second. So let's see if everything is working fine or not. Now click on the play button and let it compile now shoot some projectiles and something isn't right here it's still not working but why let's go back to the script and uh, and it looks just fine i think oh yeah there it is 
we have to use input.get mouse button instead of get mouse button down. Now save it and again head back to the Unity and this time I'm pretty sure it's gonna work perfectly without any issue. And there we go, it works fine. So let's increase its fire rate up to 5 and look at it, it looks so nice. What about 10? Wow, our player is going crazy. <laughs> now, well so guys that's all in this video and from the next video we'll start fixing bugs in our game and also we'll start doing some cosmetic changes uh, like decoration and game art related stuff so till then keep learning keep practicing and i'll meet you in the further upcoming videos for now see you later